Hello everybody. Looks like my Sears Craftsman Palm Sander won't turn on. On off switch doesn't seem to do anything. Model 315116021. Had it a long time and it hasn't really got that much use. I suspect it's the on off switch so we're gonna take it apart check the power cord, check the switch, see what's going on. Well, my suspicion was correct. It looks like this slide switch, the on-off switch, is shot. No matter what position you put it in, I've got open circuit. So I'm either going to try to find a replacement slide switch, or I may take it apart and just see what the contact situation is, and see if I can jury rig it, or just find a new switch. You can see this terminal here wiggles, so it's mechanically failed. It's connected on the other side, obviously, to the contact. So here's the original switch from my sander. I've attempted to use the other set of contacts here, and the two contacts on the right, right in the center. Uh, by attaching this wire to it, but it turns out that the internal sliding contacts inside the switch are so badly uh, deteriorated that there's no way to salvage this switch. So, my plan is to take this switch here and make it look like the one on the left. So I'm going to break the tabs off and then I'm going to round the slider, so the one on the left, the original, the one on the right you see is somewhat squarish or rectangular. I focused on finding a slider that had a tall height here, but in, in doing that I have actually picked the wrong switch. I picked a switch, didn't pay attention to this, that it was a three position, one, two, three. It will still work. Uh, all that's going to happen is this position will be off, the center position will be off, and then the far position will be on. Rather than two positions, it'll be three, but oh well. That's uh, just due to paying attention to the wrong thing. I actually paid more attention to the rating, number one, which I thought was the most important thing, to make sure you got a switch that was rated uh, the appropriate voltage and current. In this case it should be rated 125 volts. This switch that I bought happens to be rated 6 amps. The original switch was also rated 6 amps, 125 volts. So I'll probably use some sandpaper, a file, and my Dremel to round this knob or the slider knob to get it to look like this. And hopefully it'll be strong enough and won't break off after I've done that. And I'll just bend the tabs off and break them off, but this should be a good replacement. Switch was very inexpensive. I think I bought five of them for a couple of bucks from Asia on AliExpress. You just have to wait a couple of weeks for them to arrive, but they've arrived in good shape. And I'll go do my modification and show you the final finished product. Well, it turns out uh, I had a few more complications. Notice that the original switch here on the left and the thickness of the new switch on the right. Uh, the one on the right is a little bit thicker. That means I had to take my Dremel tool to the inside of this where the switch is going to go and make the cavity a little bit larger. You can see I've got my new switch all wired up, solder connections, and a little bit of shrink tubing, and I'm going to put it all back together again. Well, I have it all back together again, and it seems to be working. I think if I had to do it all over again, I would probably just put a simple line cord switch up here. That would be a little bit easier. So I would just take the two wires that are inside here, I'd solder them together, I'd open this cord up here, put an on-off line switch. Not quite as handy as the on-off switch by your thumb, but it would probably work if you don't want to really dig into this and try to 
fabricate a, a switch to make it work. Well, here's an update on my sander. I've been using it quite a bit, and it's been working great, with one exception. When I get into certain positions, the vibration of the sander causes the switch to turn off. The on-off switch is not in a great spot to be able to hold in the on position all the time. So if I had to do this over again, I would probably use uh, this stack pole slide switch. It's um, much more difficult to slide. It has a much more substantial snap action to it. So that when it's in the on position, the likelihood of the sander vibrating it to the off position is probably is is probably is likely to be very infrequent. Is the probability of the sander vibrating the switch to the off position is, is extremely low. So that's the one thing I would do. I don't really feel like opening this up all over again and resoldering a new switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back behind the on off switch. You can see there's a little bit of a small gap behind it. And I'm going to put some foam tape or some foam rubber or something to add some friction to the back side of this switch so that when I have it in the on position it won't be as likely to vibrate off. So that's just a little hint or a little tip after having lived with my repair but otherwise it's working great. It turns on and off very reliably but only in certain positions does the vibration cause the switch to go into the off position. Okay, so thanks again for watching. How about subscribing to my channel or giving me a thumbs up if you found this uh, useful or entertaining.